going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Talk, a segment of our channel where we discuss everything we find interesting from gaming, technology, to reviews, and news. I'm Anthony, here with Jeff and Dan. Hi. And Hi. Today, How you doing? we are discussing our <laughs> E3 experience from home. Yeah. What? Fr from home? Yeah. Because we didn't go to E3. No, we don't have money. Oh, no. right. Well, money. yeah. Sorry, I just wasn't... Okay. Anyway, I'll just so stop. if you're joining us now, we are going to do this in a podcast style, which will be available on iTunes. Yeah, so we got a new podcast. It's uh, the Let's Talk podcast, available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Just look up Playthrough Live on uh, on iTunes or SoundCloud and uh, subscribe to our new podcast. So that that's something new. Yeah. So that will be up and running, and you will you can catch the the full. Thing that we do here otherwise if you're on YouTube we're gonna split this into three videos starting off from the three days the three main big attractions at E3 which would be Microsoft Sony and then Nintendo so first off is Microsoft and basically I guess we're gonna start off with the biggest announcement or not well, really even the, the biggest the, the one big <laughs> announcement really uh, which would be the Xbox one X <clears throat> so the X stands for X what does it stand for, actually? Do we, do, well, well, like well, here's someone pointed this out last night. Is that Xbox? like, yeah? Is that like the, <laughs> that's so stupid? Is that like it abbreviated? It's Xbox. Because I was thinking like it's not. It's definitely not ten. Like it wouldn't make sense for it's not ten year anniversary or nothing. Maybe, 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 maybe they did it for the abbreviation. Maybe this is like because this is definitive Xbox. Maybe the I don't know. It's uh, it's an okay name. It's, they could have picked worse names. I guess the X is just more. I like still, I still think the PS. Pro. I still think PlayStation Four Pro is a stupid name because, like, what, what, what is a professional gonna do with a PlayStation? Exactly. Well, at the end of the day, is this like an enhancement from the Xbox One, or is it a completely different system? No, it's an enhancement. It's an. It's an basically, it, it's a more powerful Xbox One. So, so it's not like we to Wii U. We, no. we messed no. up on our names and the, the, shouldn't this, have done the, that. This is kind of this is like, like uh, I don't know. Basically, a PS Four Pro. It could still it's, play Xbox it, One game. It's an Xbox One with just better hardware under the hood. It's I think almost three times faster than the original Xbox One. Four times faster. It's 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 nearly twice as fast I think as the PS4 Pro. So I guess or something like that. Yeah, well, it's they're doing 4K games, 4K updates for most of the games. Uh, the biggest thing I guess most people were excited about was the what's it called backward compatibility for original Xbox games, which I think is a, a cool feature. I guess if you still have well, All so, the older so games. Now, I don't know if that's just gonna work like that. I think the Xbox backwards compatibility is for the uh, game. What's it called? What's the there? You know how PlayStation has the a thing, PlayStation Now, where you could play old oh. games. I think the Xbox the, catalog, the, the Xbox Store. No, no, no. PlayStation Now is the service oh. where you could play old games on PlayStation. Oh, 4. Uh, Xbox Live Gold. No, it was. It's their new thing, the Game Pass thing. <laughs> You were the one talking to me about this. I don't know. What the hell I don't know what you're talking about. Oh come on! It's a. Uh, oh, what's it called? The way they made it sound like was that you would be able to just play regular Xbox games. It to to me, I thought it was like what they did with the Xbox 360 games, where if I own an Xbox 360 game that's supported in the program, I can just pop the disc in my that's, Xbox that's and it'll work. I, I thought. That Maybe I they're adding so. downloads too. I know. I know Xbox you can Game download. Pass. Okay. That's what it's called. So it's so basically it's like a, a service. They, they already came out with the service like maybe a month ago around there where you could play you, it's like a monthly thing you pay for and you pay and you play old Xbox games on your Xbox one now with PlayStation how their service worked you had to stream the games so if I wanted to play Sly Cooper on my PS4 I had to go on PlayStation now and stream the games and you know you get some lag because you're streaming it but with Xbox services is you actually download the games directly to your Xbox, and I think they added Xbox Classic games to that catalog for you to download if you subscribe to so so kind of Xbox like Game Pass. So, so like PlayStation Plus, but it, with a active catalog that doesn't change month to month. Right. Right. So, or like, like uh, well, I don't want to say Netflix because you don't stream with Netflix. I mean, you stream with Netflix. You don't download stuff, but uh, like Netflix. <laughs> It's basically Netflix. But, but you're downloading them instead of streaming. But you download the games instead of streaming them. That's interesting. Yeah. I guess. 
It'd be more interesting, I think, if you just stick to the old games. Going back to the hardware itself, though, with the Xbox One X, I think it was interesting that they said that it's actually it's the smallest uh, Xbox they've ever made, right. which is really impressive, considering... Most powerful console, smallest... Well, yeah, it's, it's more... It's a lot more powerful than the Xbox One. The original Xbox One was gigantic. It was, it mm -hmm. was the biggest box I had in my uh, living room. Yeah, oh yeah. It's huge. The, the, the Slim is a lot smaller, and the One X is even smaller than that, apparently. That's crazy. Yeah, I, th I thought the... Because I have an Xbox One S, and I thought that was, like, the perfect size console. I couldn't imagine it getting any smaller and power more powerful, but they managed to do it. And I have the specs pulled up here, if you want to go Read over. Read them off to me. Okay. Tell me. So, so on Xbox.com, <laughs> it's coming up, you know, faster processing, obviously. So, it has... Six teraflops. Eight-core right? eight Terraflop. custom AMD CPU, uh, which is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, to bring enhanced AI, real-world detail, and smoother interactions to your gaming. Um, uh, it's going to have 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 of graphic memory. Uh, it's going to add speed and power to the game performance to enable bigger worlds, further horizons, and quicker load times. And lifelike detail, which is a 6 teraflop GPU enabling 4K environments and characters. To become more realistic than ever, with more detail and smoother animation, so Perfect you're, for all those you're getting shooters. a huge boost on absolutely anything gaming. And it actually has a 4K Blu-ray player, unlike the uh, PS4 yes. Pro, which is stupid, but... And the next update, I'm sure they'll do that. You can't just update it. Well, the next upgrade... Yeah, but, but Sony is Blu-ray, I don't know why that... They, uh, they, they invented the format, there's no excuse. <laughs> it's a money thing, man. They... It, it, exactly. Exactly, so they'll come up that, with another one That's why the PS3 had a Blu-ray player, so that they could sh shove Blu-ray players in everyone's homes. Yeah, well... Not cool. Anyway... November 7th comes out for f only $499. Yeah, and I was expecting more of, uh, either $599 or... Yeah, I was uh, expecting closer to, like, yeah, the $600 si si Yeah, around $600, $650. I was, so I was surprised it's only $499. And for how powerful it apparently is, that's a bargain. Maybe we're peeking at our console, like... Technological price range there, like four ninety nine. Well, yeah, they, they they they've pretty much found that about five hundred dollars is the cap because there's a huge controversy when Sony originally announced the PS three, right? Right. And, was right. and wasn't it like really, five? Wasn't it, it was six hundred dollars? Yeah. Expensive. And that was back in two thousand five. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so see, that this be, is with inflation. Four ninety nine. Not bad. Um. Uh, no, and and Microsoft uh, this year really took a page from uh, Sony conferences in the past and went more the exclusives route. You, I, <clears throat> I was saying this like, with when I think of Xbox, I don't think of that character that really stands out besides Master Chief. You look at Sony and Nintendo, and they have mascots out, like out the wazoo, like they up the A. <laughs> they have. Their every their whole brand is just mascots and and characters. Microsoft and Xbox fail to develop their characters, except for Master Chief, who everybody knows. But besides that, you don't have that definitive character. So it was cool to see, you know, new new exclusive games announced. Like uh, Luck, Super Lucky's Tale was one of them. Maybe he could become something. Mm. <laughs> sorts. What are what are your thoughts, gentlemen? Well, out of all the conferences, <laughs> Xbox probably had the most. Gaming content. Yeah, they, they, were, they were also the longest one. They right. were about an they hour was, and a half. Was Sony's long. was only an hour, and Nintendo's was barely a half hour. <laughs> I think it was like 26 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo. And then the rest was just Treehouse Live. But, uh, yeah, so why don't we just go through a couple of the games? Yep. I'm not going to show you every single game, but we got a, a decent so, amount of So, uh, truck ones. racing now with Forza 7. Yeah, I saw that. That, that, that actually kind of seems fun. I mean, I'm yeah. intrigued. Yeah, that, that looked pretty cool. Um, Forza's really. I, it's Force really is a beautiful good. game. I thought like I I played Gran Turismo was the first like racing simulator I ever played. Yeah, me too. I love Need for Speed. I had that's oh, not yeah, a I get, you know that was different genre. Guess. It's a completely different game though. Like Need for Speed, it's like you, it's not the uh, the physics, the way things handled. It's not really true to Need life. for Speed. Yeah, it's more of a glorified it, it, racing it's, game. It's an arcade game. Right, it was back in the day. I love Need for Speed. Hot Pursuit Two F is Forza. If you if you go th too fast to return, you'll spin out or crash. It's it. You, you can't just hold the the accelerator down. Hmm. The gas pedal. No, Force is great, and it's cool that uh, it's going to be running at 4K and 60 frames per second on Xbox One. It's like you it's at this gorgeous. point in time, you have to for racing games. Like, well, 60, 60, 60 FPS is necessary. Either either they optimize the shit out of it, or the Xbox One X is that powerful. But 
I well, I know the I previous. I, I know it's probably a little bit Force of Six ran at 60 frames per second, but I mean that was only pushing to 1080p. So, yeah, in 4K, 60 or sometimes frames. 900p. That was, that was a pretty big controversy. I don't know what game that was with, but what? that's to get that extra frame image. Oh. Well, yeah, like basically the Xbox One would use like dynamic resolution, so it would split. It'd be constantly changing what resolution it was showing you in right. order to keep a constant 60 FPS. They never said whether or not it was locked at 4K. I guess that's I true. I don't think they did, at least. Mm. Like, I could be wrong, but that maybe it's a dynamic resolution again, Maybe and maybe it's focused on the frame rate. But at maybe. that point, would you even notice the huge difference from 4K, like, dropping down? Probably not. It, it, well, it depends on how big a drop it is, but I, probably not. I don't not. think they would go right down to, like, 1080. No, it wouldn't be that big. It would be, like, from 4K you probably, to, like, it's like barely noticeable. Like, mm. I presume. But, so that comes out October 3rd. Next on the list, we have Assassin's Creed. Origins. But yeah, I didn't, I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan. <laughs> Clearly, I'm I, not the Microsoft or Sony guy, so we're going to wait for the third video. Well, okay. get well, really Assass 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 Assassin's Creed is on everything except for Nintendo, usually. I know, but I'm just saying. But, uh, but that, general, they really showcased that at the Microsoft event. It, it, and it, it looked really good, and I guess it's a good thing that Ubisoft took a year off making Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, it was because Assassin's it was, Creed was starting into Guitar Hero, mm -hmm. where every year I do like what the else Egyptian can you do? Based I, I like theme, that, though. and it, it's cool because it's origin. So technically, it, this is the first yeah, Assassin's Creed game. How far that makes back sense. can you go in time? I mean, right. So, so <laughs> it's, the whole idea with it, with like Assassin's Creed, is that it's this whole organization, a, a brotherhood. At, there's a game called Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, oh, but. <laughs> But the the whole idea is it's this big worldwide organization that fights against another big worldwide organization. So this is giving you the whole background story on how it formed. So right. it's a it's a good concept, I think. Yeah, and the the looks map good. looks huge. I'll still wait for the reviews, but on that, I was never blown away. But Assassin's Creed games always look so much better in the trailers than the actual game. Assassin's make. Creed Two. They know how to make Assassin's a cinematic Creed trailer. Assassin's Creed Two was really good. That was a really good game, yeah. but I feel like the history like would attract me more, like just the way they present I liked, every all the. What events. was the Revolutionary War one? Was that that three? was Assassin's Creed Three? That was a really good one. I like that one. Yeah, I, remember I, I, I wanted to play the pirate one, but I never got around to it. The Black Flag. That's actually I played a little bit of was it. it. Good. It's really good, and, huh. and and the pirate gameplay is really good. I believe Ubisoft's actually making like a. Yeah, they are. They're doing a. They had their own press rip off or whatever. Some new online pirate well, well, game. Well, apparently it's based around, like, the gameplay from Black oh, Flag. Yeah. Lo no, loosely. Sense. It's not an Assassin's Creed game, right. but it's the same kind of... All the of... elements, I guess, are yeah. there. Cool. And then next. Um, yeah, well, that comes out October 17th. Next, uh, this is a, a kind of big one. I'm going to let this Dan take this one. This is actually one of my favorites from this, uh, from the press conference. <laughs> you couldn't conference. stop talking about this, like, the whole... Minecraft? I couldn't stop day. talking about it? This is, I feel like this was your favorite. Because I thought, you your, know what? I'm, and I don't even everything. play Minecraft. That's how much I'm blown away by this. I thought, I mean, by, <sighs> so they, they announced the Minecraft with a whole new update and stuff. They announced cross-platform play. And they specifically showed a Nintendo Switch in the trailer of the cross-platform play, which is really cool. And United. iPads and stuff. Yeah, so it was, <laughs> it was cool. So, like, now I could play on my iPhone against... You on your Switch or you on the PC. We could all just it's I love the whole like yeah, my, Minecraft is the perfect game for a community to get together and just play no matter what device you have, because ev everyone loves Minecraft. Wasn't that how it originally started? It was, it was a PC game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was originally PC, then it got then ported to a couple of things, stuff. then Microsoft bought it and it got put on everything. Mm -hmm. Microsoft. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's toasters they... that run Minecraft at this point. Oh yeah, oh definitely. So it's just microwaves. Yeah. You probably your fridge probably runs it with the, with the screens built yeah, into your exactly. fridge. Yeah, exactly. Well, not my fridge. I don't. I don't have a, I don't have a screen. I don't, I don't fridge have a screen either, but either. None of us do. Um, Old fashioned. Um, but then they announced like the super duper graphics update. So now you get more lighting and stuff. Um, no, I, I Minecraft is definitely going in the right direction. Like they never seem to slow down. Every update they come out it seems to be a huge. Well, and, and I'm glad Microsoft hasn't locked it down more since they bought it. Because that was one of my concerns when I heard about it. Because right. Minecraft's All always been a very Microsoft, open. Right. It's on everything. You can play with people, and they didn't do that. Instead, they've kept it open, which is great. No, yeah. they've done everything right with Minecraft. I thought so far. I feel like it's just one of those games. It's just like Facebook. It'll be around <laughs> forever. Yeah, and but just I don't... keep updating it. Right, because the graphics. What like you can't do much <laughs> with those like yeah. so it's not it's nothing major you need blocky. to update. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a casual game and maybe I'm I'm probably gonna start playing it now that I can play with you know anybody. I'm probably not. 
I don't know. Although I, I do like watching some of the videos of people to see the things people build. Oh, it's just crazy. on the artistic style. I don't even like whatever the story is of Minecraft oh. is fighting. Well, people. there's not really a story. It's it's just it's all the zombie crap. It, you you, <laughs> you, yeah. you you build a portal to the netherworld and fight a dragon. That's the entire game. Huh? But I feel like no one really. People no, play it's more, it more, it's for more the, uh, sandbox. Well, well, yeah, it's yeah. It, it's a sandbox, but there is there is an end game to it. That is the goal. <laughs> not my goal. I, I've never done it, but I don't anyway, know. don't do it. The next one is my favorite that I've been looking forward to for a while. Same. Even though I don't, I'm not gonna get an Xbox. I don't. The only Xbox I own is actually no, I own Xbox the first one, not the one, but the first one, and then Xbox 360. But Cuphead. Oh yeah, I can't wait. That game looks so. I've been, I've been sick. so I'll be honest. For this game it, for... it looks really Wait, let's, good, let's but see I, the bad review here. Let's see. I, no, I still don't get what the gameplay is. <laughs> what do you what, mean? What's the gameplay? I feel like they're just. What is it? What kind of game is it? Is it a platformer? I, it's I, a side scroll. Is yeah. it? Okay. Because yeah. I honestly couldn't tell. That's all. Oh. That's what. It's I was like a platformy at. side scroll okay. game. It looks really cool. Like yeah, well, I'll, I might get the it. Animation. Uh, that, that was really cool because I'm a animations. huge fan of old Disney. Anything like Steamboat Willie. And when I first saw this game, I couldn't believe how I couldn't believe this was a video game. Yeah, it's first of all, like a '30s cartoon, or right? Because it looks so authentic, straight out of like an old Walt Disney cartoon. But it's all hand drawn stuff. Yeah. All, like I watched a whole video of how they they were designing all the backgrounds and I guess on um, long pieces of paper and, and stuff. But it was all right. like watercolor and, and it, everything was done by hand. That's crazy. So you can imagine how much work. Was really put yeah, it's all game. cell animated. I think they said right. in the press conference. Right, that's insane. That's I mean, no crazy. wonder it's, it's taken over two years. It looks so for, authentic, though. It does. They, 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 it's gorgeous, and it's a, it's an indie game too. So, it, I yeah, for an indie game, it's but, crazy, crazy well, what these developers can do. Yeah, that's a lot where a lot of the creativity is now. It seems like that's true. That's true. Well, you know, that's like so original. Though. All the, the open-minded, imaginary like game, or imaginatory games are really imaginative. For, imaginative. That's there the word. we go. English. <laughs> sure, English grammar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it usually comes from indie devel developers nowadays. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. No, but I think... Cuphead's gonna be great. Really, uh, Look forward for a co-play. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a co-play because I'm not gonna get an Xbox and I really wanna play the game. <laughs> I am cheap and will not get one. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy. That would be the only game I buy, honestly. It's on sale yeah, this week. All these games. The Xbox One's on sale this week. It's like 250 bucks. The Xbox One S. Oh, the one S. Still a great console. Yeah. Slim. 4K. It still supports 4K, just not gameplay. It ain't convincing me. I'll right. stick to my Nintendo consoles. But yeah, Cuphead, September 29th. So we, we have a lot of, uh, I guess, summer, fallish kind of yeah. uh, vicinity of all these games that are coming out. Next game on the list, Rareware <laughs> is, I guess, making a, <laughs> somewhat of a comeback despite having like half their team quit and go to play Tonic Games. <laughs> but... Well, no, no wonder why this game is taking so long. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Now, I'm not a... Uh, I, I love Rareware, and they're not even Rareware anymore, which is rare. But this is uh, definitely different from what I would expect, or what the common person would expect from a Rareware kind of I I've told game. you, I've told you guys before, they announced Sea of Thieves and Cuphead at the same E3, I guess that was 2015. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't, I was that excitement? I just got chills. Oh, oh, 2015 E3, what a great conference. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good <Whoa>. times. <laughs> oh, that was two years ago. Well, damn, that was two years ago already. That's what I'm saying. So I bought an Xbox, like, right, I bought an Xbox in June after they announced Cuphead and Sea of Thieves because I thought they were right around the corner. I'm, I, I'm, this is a perfect time to jump on the Xbox train, and here I am two years later. E3 uh, in a nutshell. Neither, neither <laughs> game has been released, though we have a release date on Cuphead. Finally, I get to play that game this year. But Sea of Thieves is once again delayed to <laughs> next year. And no, no, just early 2018. There's no, no, like, date, no month. It's just early 2018. Well, at least so. they put it all out on PC now, right? That's true. So like, I don't, I don't even have, I don't even need an Xbox. It's great. Yeah. Like, I wonder what else they're doing with the game. I guess they're just making it bigger. It's not graphically challenged. No, it. Like, it I mean, it has a unique what, art style. What? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. It's just. It's, it's not right. like heavy duty. It's not heavy. Realistic. It, we're not looking at realistic pirates here. We're looking at cartoony. Well, by, well, and by the looks of it, though, there's a lot of infrastructure to it because it's multiplayer. That's probably it, the big it, thing. It has like MMO well, elements. I guess, yeah. It's, it's just all, all online, the server stuff they probably have to get play, through. Probably. They, don't, they so probably want that, less, they as less lag as possible. Balancing stuff like that. A lot of stuff to go through. And maybe they're making the map huge for to keep the game as big and so you can play it as long as possible. Who knows? But probably. Well, looks I mean, really interesting. I, I love pirates and all that explored. Ex I can't talk today. Ex <laughs> <laughs> you know, exploration stuff. It's uh, it right. be cool. explorer. 
Adventure games. Adventure games. That's Adventure the, games. Sure. Well, originally when the, the when we saw the trailer like back in 2015, mm -hmm. I thought it was Project Dream, or at least that's where they got their influence from, which right. was like the Super Nintendo game that was turned into Banjo Kazooie, but that was based off Pirates. So I thought they were kind of just revamping Going back that to the roots since they got since that was canceled, or whatever. Right. Right. But, I remember you saying that too. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm uh, I'm not interested in it. It's not very. It's, I don't know. I it, think it, 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 looks, def it definitely have the rare sense of humor to it. I was oh, just, no, just yeah, going to say, I think it looks hysterical. It's definitely the a rail game. The, fact rare that game. the way they presented it, too, was actually funny. Like, I laughed oh, the, during the trailer. the narrator? Trial. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I oh, he was, it was great. This, that Scottish narrator guy. That, it was a long demo. That was like 10 minute. Like it's I said, it's a, like warning, like a use of alcohol in, in this game or whatever. You can get drunk in this game. <laughs> it's so like, funny. you could just get drunk. You could steal ships. You can get drunk and get drunk in the game. This is true. At the same time. Drunkception. I wonder what that would be like. That'd be getting Let's drunk try and then getting drunk and then playing CPs. Co-play! <laughs> <laughs> to our, our lovely young viewers out there. Don't, don't Hep. listen. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say something else. Sorry, I cut no. you off a lot. I just, yeah, I no, just no, ramble. it's okay. You're the host, I guess. I don't... <laughs> I just thought that I'd do it because, like, I'm just here. I just, I don't know. Damn, man. Sorry. But huh. no, I mean, it's not... Because I feel like during the trailer, it just seemed like you were just like looking for like treasure and stuff, and people were helping well, you find treasure. Well, that's one aspect of the game. You could just you could look for treasure. I guess it's like a story mode, or you could just play the game just to conquer the seas and just still kill people. And I guess it's, it seemed like a, like a Sims type destroy of destroy their like, ships. It was just like the communication was just weird. Mm. It didn't seem like there was like a, a huge like the story was a huge aspect of. Well, I, actually, I remember I was gonna say for a game that isn't coming that doesn't re necessarily have a full on release date, it looked. Pretty complete from that yeah. ten minute demo I, they gave. Like I mean, that was just one yeah. island, though, right? Right. And then I guess underwater. But like, yep, they've shown a lot through the past. I guess three E threes <laughs> combined. They've shown a lot of this game, so you could just imagine how huge this game is gonna be, or just how big of a multiplayer game this is gonna be. That's why it's taken so long. This is now it'll be four years pretty much come when it comes out after they yeah. uh, after they announced it. So. Yeah, I guess they're putting a lot of effort into it. Whatever it is. But anyway, we'll see. Well, the next kind of games, are, I guess, are more indie-ish games. At least that I can see from the list that I'm looking at. <laughs> but uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, I thought it was actually... Jeffrey. I I mean I'm not a huge you, Dragon Ball Z fan. I couldn't tell you anything fan, about this game. But I I, I, I like the I like the art. The, the art style looked good. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna get it because I don't like 2D fighters. Like Street Fighter, I, eh. Like I I bought Dragon Ball Xenoverse and that's more of what I think suits like Dragon Ball Z because it's it's people flying around and fighting each <laughs> other. You can't really fly around in a 2D space that much. Yeah, I will I will agree with you that the art I thought the art looked amazing. Because well, it, like it looked, very, it was like 2D, but it had it 3D animated, elements of right. it. Like it looked really cool. I thought it was cool. I mean, that was that was. Well, that's that's all I have most. on that. <laughs> that that that's it. The, the only Dragon Ball Z fighting game I think I played was for like the GameCube. I don't know. What, mm. I don't remember. I think it was, was it Budokai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Budokai. But this one, it said three versus three. You can do so. I guess you can have like six players on screen at the same time, which I I feel like would be a lot. Going on, like it's not like a Smash Bros. It, it's type all of game a matter or... of how they treat the camera, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I guess I guess that's that's it for us. Jeff doesn't seem too excited about Dragon Ball Z. It. <laughs> he's, he's the anime guy. <laughs> it's so. it's it's n it's not the kind of like fighting game that I think suits Dragon Ball Z. That's the thing. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. Next was. I'm excited about the Darwin Project. <laughs> it looked that looked really good. It looked really cool. I didn't know what was going. Cause I didn't like, understand when, the beginning. when the gameplay first started. It was like, oh, this kind of looks like a Pixar type of animation. Like we're getting like the right. It looked it looked like a Disney esque. Did and, you see the you yeah, saw the trailer? And then he gets what? like shot in the right, back. and then he got shot. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this this isn't very fr like family friendly, I guess. And then you got the that cool announcer broadcaster get on stage and then just start broadcasting like the events that were happening in the game and it, it Hunger looked, Games. Sure, you can compare it to the Hunger Games. It, <laughs> It's basically a survival, survival of game. the fittest. That's yeah. why I guess it's called the Darwin Project. But see, in the beginning, I thought it, I thought it was like a virtual reality thing. Like they were like they were characters in the game were actually playing a game. I see what you virtually. mean. Virtually, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, and it just didn't. It, everything just happened so fast that he got shot and everything. And then I didn't. I didn't well, understand I, the whole story. They did mention that though the One X is supposed to have VR support, but they didn't even they didn't no, even they didn't mention it in the press VR. conference, which was kind of well, surprising. Yeah, 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 they pretty much designated like the first few minutes to the Xbox One X, and then that was kind of it. Yeah, the rest was just trailers. Yep. 
But uh, no, the Darwin Project looks. Weird. I said I said this to Jeff. Like the, the game better come with like some aspect of broadcasting because that guy on stage added so much to it, and I feel like he didn't need to be there if there wouldn't be. Well, you those, know what I mean? those kind of games are really popular game. right now too. Like there was that other one called uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That game is huge right now online, and it's it's uh, the whole idea is that you with that game is you like skydive into an abandoned city, mm -hmm. and you have to be the last man standing. And there's weapons throughout the environment. I God. think there's zombies in it. I could be wrong, but I Every think there's zombies in it too. There's zombies in everything. There probably were zombies. Probably there were zombies a lot of games. So there were a lot of games with zombies in this so press conference. There, you know, what? in all of the press conferences, it's the trendy f game right now. It's like survival horror. Just survival. What else would you use? <laughs> Vampires. Yeah, give me some vampire <laughs> games. <laughs> that would, that would well, it's like, well, it's like survival horror. It's like the trendy, like how like every game in the '80s was kind of a platformer. Because that's that's just what they did. <laughs> that's all they were capable of doing. <laughs> we could we could think outside the box, get better enemies. There was no release date on the Darwin Project. It was just announced. Uh, I don't think there was. There might know. have been. Stand by. I don't remember. I think <laughs> half of these, whatever games we're going over now, I don't think I could find an actual release date for them. Or at least I didn't try hard enough to research them because whatever. No, but I mean, I guess talking about the Darwin Project, it looked like Xbox's exclusive. Uh, answer to Overwatch if you want to go that far because it it definitely was very character based um, because the one character had a cloaking ability another one just had arrows or something like that. Um, I wonder if you could make custom characters. That'd be that'd be interesting. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. And then something that we'd have over Overwatch because you can't. Well, but well, Overwatch though part part of the appeal of it is like you know what each character does, so you know right. how to, you, so you know how to make a team composition based off. That's where the strategy in That's Overwatch true. comes in. And I, I was getting that vibe from the Darwin Project, uh, but it doesn't say. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a, a release date. Yeah, no, but I, it's I it's launching playing. exclusively on Xbox One. Exclusive so. launching? Does that mean it's going to come to other platforms later? Oh yeah, you're, that may, that's a. Yeah, good, good pickup. It says the Darwin, according to Polygon.com, the Darwin Project is a new survival game launching exclusively on Xbox One. So uh, that sounds like there's room for down the road it to come to other platforms then. Oh yeah, no, it is. So Microsoft stated that the game would launch first on Xbox One and, be and would benefit from the increased power of the new Xbox One X console. It will also feature some kind of interactivity through Microsoft's Mixer streaming platform. So it is coming to other systems, yeah, so you'll see it on PS4. Yeah. I don't know about Switch. It looks uh, kind of... Mo well, no, I mean, most games probably not. Probably not, you're right. Not like, like Rocket League, again, going back to... Like, you could run Rocket League on a toaster. It runs on every... It could run on anything, pretty much. Uh, well, we'll, it, get, we'll it, get to it, that. Yeah. But, uh... Anyway, so the next one we kind of just added real quick last minute was The Last Night, which was cool artistic style, kind of pixely, like 8-bit mixed into like a 3D type of mm -hmm. world. And that, that was all I really it, got it, out of it. It. It, looks, it looks fantastic. It was I can't, pleasing to I look at. I can't tell you what the game actually is. <laughs> no. but it the like art, a Japanese thing. It's like, not a game. Art, it was just a cinematic. Art, it's, it was, it's very like dystopian, futuristic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Future! Exactly. <laughs> it was like like Avatar, the, the Korra, Legend of Korra, whatever the hell it was called. Why would you compare like, it to that instead of just regular Avatar? Because Avatar, like, the Korra was like more future-based. Oh. So. Didn't watch it. Yeah, I didn't watch it either. I watched like the first episode. So, not, so none of us watched it, okay. <laughs> none of us can vouch for Korra. So I know, yeah. I think she dies. <laughs> Damn it, I can't Spoilers. watch it now! Eventually, because they're making another series for Avatar. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll not get that to it matters. That. That's, that'll we be another one to talk. <laughs> That's for next time. <laughs> but um, another game uh, that I enjoyed the art style was The Artful Escape, which is the dude... I, you know what? I caught this. I went to the bathroom and I came back and it was in the middle of this guy, it was like this two D game, and some guy riding That's something playing a guitar. That's exactly what happened to me. So I'm, I'm like, not I walked back in. There was this trippy psychedelic thing, and uh, some guy playing a guitar, controlling this beast. I'm like, what? What? And I didn't go back to it, so I didn't. I don't but know. I, it's a concept, I guess, that's never really been done before. Have your inch playing some guy <laughs> playing an instrument and like a platform <laughs> kind of situation. Talk about star power. Don't Hot. know if it's like. If I'm attracted to that kind of aspect, anyway, but I thought it was unique. Just it was definitely an indie game. Oh yeah, Paul, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, yeah, I don't, know. I, I don't have much to say about that. I honestly didn't to look too much into that game because it was just more of like a, oh hey, that's interesting. Yeah, well, that's that's different. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. Oh, 
As yeah. he sits on the toilet and just watching from his phone. Oh, no, no, I wasn't doing that. I was doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good to know. <laughs> Next on our list is Super Lucky's Tale. This one intrigued me. This one was colorful. I liked it. I'm, I'm like a classic Nintendo platformer action adventure kind of mm-hmm. guy. And this game really, uh, it reminded me of Conker's like 12 Tales before it got canceled. The, and then they when I first saw this, the, the, there were three games that came to mind. And I think Super Lucky's Tale brings the best of everything that was Crash Bandicoot. Everything that was Banjo Kazooie, Kazooie, and everything that was basically Kazoon tight. Thank you, <laughs> uh, and everything that was Mario in, into one game. That it seems to take the best elements from those three games and, and make it Super Lucky's Tale. If you know what I mean, like yeah, the environments, but it's the very kid friendly and the the coins. The there were when I mean Crash Bandicoot, some some of it looked like no, yeah, Crash I Bandicoot, see, like, like not some just the character, but like the way the, a- the side scrolling stuff, weird. the camera angles definitely were Crash Bandicoot esque. Uh, so it looked really cool. Like if you're into, especially kids or people our age, uh, who grew up playing these old get a, PS2, get off the shooters, PS2 go. platformers. It, 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 it was very reminiscent of like even a rare, the game. early 2000s. Ukulele. Ukulele. Yeah. A little later, it yeah. did look a little bit like ukulele actually. They were probably made on the same engine. Probably, I would presume. But yeah. this was uh, the apparently there was a prequel, or whatever. The first one was a VR. Is this, this a prequel is or is this a re-release but without the VR? I, well, don't... I don't know. I thought this was just a sequel. Kind um, yeah, of I'm thing. gonna assume it's a sequel because it's I Super thought, Lucky's Tale. I so. I thought this was just a standalone game, and then I looked more into it. I was like, oh, this came out on Oculus last year, and then uh, it got, I, th- I it think a, this then it got poor game. reviews. This is the sequel. So all right, maybe. This one has no virtual reality, so it'll probably uh, benefit from right, that. Well, well that, that's the reason why it got a lot of poor reviews. The game itself was okay, but right. there was no reason for it to be a VR game. Right, right. So hopefully yeah, really uh, it'll just stick with this platforming roots and just give us a great old-fashioned yeah. platformer. Yeah, classic, uh, classic. You don't really see a lot of those from uh, Microsoft either, Xbox. But the only things ones I can think of is like Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. That was a good game. And that, that's probably it. I guess Conquer's Bad Fur Day, but that was a re-release mm-hmm. from the Nintendo 64. And this is going... Uh, we mentioned this in the beginning of the podcast, or the video, whatever whatever you're watching it on, <clears throat> uh, that Microsoft doesn't really have a lot of mascots, so hopefully if this is a success, Lucky can be... I don't. Eight. I doubt he will be, but... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to help them out. Counts. I'm trying to help them out. We have to re-bring bring back classic platformers. I, I'm all for it. I don't know. Garnet Hero? No. Inside joke. And last on our list is Crackdown 3, otherwise known as the Terry Crews <laughs> game that was uh, featured. Well, it caught my attention when Terry Crews came on the screen. I'm like, oh, what is this? <laughs> he was just yelling like he always does. Oh, it was, uh, he's, he's great, but... Um, I've never played a Crackdown game. I only remember like w- seeing the reviews on X-Play a very long time ago for him. They seemed like it seemed like fun, but I didn't have an Xbox 360, so right. I never played it. It seems good, but I didn't really look too much into it at past. There was like, really Terry no Cruise. gameplay. It was more just them jumping from building to building and just yeah. It was, that is huh. the gameplay. Yeah. No, no, but it, like it was, it was more cinematic than actual gameplay. So we yeah. didn't really get to see too much of real light, real time gameplay going on. So hopefully we'll get. The, I don't think there was a release date on that either. I don't think so. Right, so. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully we get more news on that. But if Terry Crews is involved, then that's a that's a big hit. Either he needs money, or he's dedicated thought, thought, as a dedicated fan. I thought the whole thing was because there were rumors he was going to be uh, Doomfist in Overwatch. Doomfist. Yeah, he apparently no, wants that didn't happen. Right. Yeah, I saw or that. Maybe didn't happen. Who knows? They might still do it down the road. Right. But. Apparently he was on board for that too. I know in like some video he put on YouTube, there was Overwatch playing in the background on like a screen, so everyone was like, "Oh my god." And he was uh, the video was actually him promoting himself being at E3, and everyone was like, "Oh, he's gonna be Doomfist in Overwatch," and then uh, that nothing. Yeah, uh, so I don't know. Maybe uh, Terry Crews is getting into video games, and he'll be in two games. I don't know. Well, apparently, he had that that weird like he didn't have think sexually. Did you ever see that thing where, where he's in his like relationship with his wife, or whatever, and he doesn't. I guess he used to watch a lot of porn, and now and then he stopped watching yeah, all the that. porn, and, and he's. I haven't seen It's that. more time for him to love his like actually love his wife. I did see that, and I I, I guess. And love video games. Yeah, he's he's got more free time. So in conclusion, don't don't whack off too much, and then you can be a voice in a game. Thanks. Oh, well, that'll conclude this video. That'll conclude, this, kind of <laughs> that'll conclude this, and that concludes this part. Of but anyway, that that's basically our, our Microsoft coverage. Uh, there was a lot of trailers. Hopefully, 
uh, if you want to see more stuff, go check out other channels because we're too lazy to put all everything up in one one video. Yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll take a, a minute just to uh, show our sponsorships. <laughs> What subscribe. Does that, what does that <laughs> mean? No. We don't have any. <laughs> we, that's what that means. <laughs> just <laughs> go subscribe to Gamer Beals. We, you know, we could just show a clip of like Dan gameplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just show a picture of Dan like frolicking in the forest. Like, oh, How are we gonna do that? Right so <laughs> make we'll sure the forest a bit. I'll <laughs> yeah, go, camera with be, me. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go by. We'll go on the trails. Oh, I wouldn't go through the trails now at this hour. Death. Yeah. But uh, if you're watching on the pod, well, you're listening on a podcast, uh, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, Playthrough Live. We have Let's Play videos, more Let's Talk discussions, uh, co-play stuff that we do all together. And we're kind of just starting to hopefully advance this channel a little more. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, like us, all that stuff, at Playthrough Live. And uh, we're... Subscribe to the podcast, spread the word. Oh yeah, podcast too. Well, the well, thing you're listening to, possibly. Maybe. Well, hopefully there'll be links in the descriptions for between the podcast and YouTube, and where. So we will spend the next video, or if you're still continuing on the podcast, we will be talking about Sony. So, knee. Let's uh, just oh. jump right into it. <laughs> you said, okay. Huh? No, you said so. And I said knee, but yeah. But okay. Nobody laughed. Ha. <laughs>